Hello, historians. Um, welcome back to the class. I have dropped a lot of information on you in text form lately, and I do did want to make one more announcement for today. Figured I'd shake things up a bit by doing a video announcement instead of an audio or a text announcement. Uh, hi, I am Rob Denning. I am the professor for the course. We've met uh, in writing uh, before, but this way you get to actually see what I look like and how I move and what stupid hand movements I make while I'm talking and all of that. So I wanted to check in uh, and talk a little bit about the first milestone assignment, which is due Sunday night. Uh, this milestone assignment is basically a project proposal. You're identifying the topic that you want to pursue. You're talking a little bit about the justification for this topic and then you're providing a couple of uh, secondary sources, uh, which will be the foundation that you will, you will then expand this list of sources uh, later on in the, uh, in the final project. Uh, many of you have submitted drafts of the proposal, milestone one, whatever you want to call it, to me already, and that's great. Some of them look really good. Um, some of them fall short. The ones that fall short seem to have a common problem and I want to talk about that here today. The common problem seems to be that you are continuing to focus on history instead of historiography. And I ask you to go back to last week's discussion board to, to think about the differences between the two, and I want to review that a little bit right now. History is the interpretation of primary and secondary sources to answer a specific research question. Historiography is the analysis of the interpretations that historians reach about that topic. So in other words, historians answer a question. Historiographers analyze the answers that those historians reached. So in last week's discussion board, many of you noted that historiography is the history of the study of history. That's kind of the shorthand version of the definition of historiography. And that's, that's right. That's what historiography is, the study of the study of history, how historians have written history in the past. And in this course and in this project, you're going to see how that plays out with a specific topic. So let's start with a topic. I want to study highway construction in Indonesia. The next step for the historian is to develop a research question. What do I want to know about highway construction in Indonesia? I have to narrow the focus a bit or else I'm going to spend a thousand pages just talking about the development of highway construction in Indonesia. So I need to narrow it a bit. I need to find an actual research question. The research question in this case might be, how did the destruction of Indonesian infrastructure during World War II affect the construction of new highways afterward? I'm just making this up. I have no idea what the answer to that question would be, but that's the research question. How did the destruction of Indonesian infrastructure during World War II affect the construction of new highways afterward? The historian takes that question, finds a bunch of sources that collectively answer that question, and then writes a book or an article or a lecture or whatever that answers that question. That's the historian's job. In this class, you're a historiographer though, so you need to go one step farther before you submit that first milestone to me. Um, <clears throat> for a historiographical essay, you have to reframe the question uh, to move the focus on historians rather than the history. So a historiographical question would be something like, how have historians explained the effects of the destruction of Indonesian infrastructure during World War II on the construction of new highways afterwards? It's a much longer question and the focus is on the historians. How have the historians done X? How did they answer the research question X? Um, you're not actually answering the research question. You are answering the question, how did historians answer the question? So that means a couple of things. One is that there has to have been historians that answered the question already. And there have to have been about you know eight to 10 books or articles written on this question that answer this question in order for you to analyze and compare multiple perspectives. Uh, so it needs to be something that's fairly well researched already. But you are not doing any of the actual research. You'll do that in other classes. Maybe you'll do that in a capstone class, but you're not going to do that here. Here you are answering the historiographical question, not the research question. 
And then everything else in the proposal will flow from that framing of the question. Your defense of the historiographical topic will say that historians have researched this topic and they have answered the research question in different ways. Hopefully they've all answered it in different ways. If they've all answered it the same way, then this is gonna be the most boring thing you've ever done. And it's going to be a very dull project. Hopefully the historians have reached different conclusions. Um, so you're going to be analyzing the how the historians have answered the question. You're not going to answer the question, I don't wanna hear your hypothesis or your answer to the research question. You'll do that in other classes. Here, I want to hear you talk about how historians have answered the research question. I hope that helps. Uh, as always, feel free to post questions or concerns to the general questions discussion board uh, or send them to me via email. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.